Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Will the Dragon Whisperer, this is Ramses, and we're here with another video for the channel. I have been counting down the days to this Repticon, and unfortunately, when I woke up a few days ago on Thanksgiving, my first thought, as soon as I opened my eyes, was... Houston, we have a problem. And then, immediately after getting out of bed, I started experiencing some excruciating pain, and it got worse and worse. And to make a long story short, I spent my Thanksgiving in the hospital and getting diagnosed with kidney stones. And so the next couple of days were pretty rough, up and down. And I was determined to go to the show to make this video for the channel. And when I got up this morning, I was feeling pretty rough. And I'm going to be hitting the road shortly. I made one attempt to get to the car ready, and it went a little like this. But I'm going to be making my second attempt to get in the car, head to Raleigh, make this video for you guys so you can see what all they have at the show. So I'm super excited. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. See, Ramses is nodding, telling you guys, yes, please smash the like button. Ring that notification bell so you guys will know when I post. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. So me and Ramses are about to go get in the car and hit the road. Rose. Okay guys, this is the Dragon Whisperer. I've just arrived at the Raleigh Repticon 2020 and I just want to give you guys a brief overview real quick of just how big this place is and all the vendors that are here. So I'm going to be going through and trying to show you guys some of the particular vendors individually and what they have to offer. So here we go. Okay, we are here at the 2020 Repticon in Raleigh, and this is Max Reptiles, and they have some beautiful ball pythons here. He's got a feisty pie ball right there in his hand. That we're, we're thinking may get him, get him here in a second, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful pie ball right there. Um, some normals. Got some really, really, that is a beautiful pie ball right there. And this is Max Reptiles. We are at the 2020 Repticon. They have some beautiful, beautiful bearded dragons too. Some hypos, some normals, beautiful blue bars on this guy right here. Really, really beautiful colors. Some normals. Oh, and look at the babies just chilling. Once again, this is Max Reptiles and they have the adorable, you guys have seen these on my channel. I dress my dragons in these, the adorable little dragon Christmas costumes. All right, you guys, we're in Ancient Reptiles here at the 2020 Repticon. They have some of the most beautiful hognose snakes I have ever seen. And if you guys aren't familiar with hognose, they have the cute little snub nose in the front there. Look at these little guys. They are so cute. I would love to add one of these to my collection. This one right here is extremely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to try not to say beautiful 50,432 times like I do on my usual Repticon videos, but these guys are beautiful. They are amazing. These guys are rear fang venomous. They do have a very mild venom, um, but but since they are rear fang, since they're right rear fang inside. venomous, they pretty much have to gnaw on you to really envenomate you. But these guys are uh, do have a mild venom, but they are rear fang venom, um, and these guys are incredibly beautiful. And uh, this, once again, is Ancient Reptiles here with probably the most beautiful Western hognose snakes in the whole show. All right, guys, we are at Heath Exotics here at the 2020 Raleigh Repticon. And these guys have some beautiful blood pythons. Uh, this one right here is an amazing. She got a beautiful pattern on her. And then they have some water skinks. You guys don't usually see these at a show. They're from Indonesia. These guys almost look like miniature alligators. Uh, very similar in appearance, but they also have some beautiful corn snakes. Look at this beautiful blood python here, an incredible jungle carpet python, and they also have some little baby hog noses, some little cresties, and some beautiful leopard geckos. So, once again, guys, this is Heath Exotics at the Raleigh 2020 Repticon.
Okay, you guys, we are at New Empire Dragons, and these guys have one of the coolest setups, one of the largest selections of species. Like, you have a red tegu there. You have some incredible monitors here. You have a, a really big tegu here, which is what mine is going to look like when they get a lot bigger. Um, some little babies here. Uh, more monitors. Um, a lot more monitors. Another beautiful tegu right here. Um, and then these guys, like, here's some more black-throated monitors, which is really incredible species. A whole tank here of Euromastics, which if you guys have seen my video on the channel, they can cohabitate. And they also have a lot of beautiful snakes, like, way more than I could possibly show all of you guys. Some incredible hog noses and some jungle carpet pythons. Um, we also have some really beautiful skinks and a whole lot of other species look at the little baby monitor down there try, trying to get away some beautiful beautiful dragons look at the little baby red dragon back there um really big african frog here little baby caiman um and a bunch a bunch of blue tongue skinks uh, some small little geckos beautiful frogs once again this is empire dragons but one thing I really wanted you guys to see is some of these colubrids they have down here that are really, really pretty snakes. These guys look really cool under certain lights, but this is pretty amazing. They have some chameleon tanks here that are just loaded with chameleons, um, especially this tank right here. Sorry, guys. This is uh, pretty incredible seeing all the veiled chameleons here in the tank together. And uh, once again, you guys, this is uh, Second Empire Dragons, and they have quite the display here. Okay, you guys, once again, please excuse the voice. Uh, we're having to wear masks here, obviously, because of COVID restrictions. And also, I'm trying to handle my baby Teggy that I bought with me to the show, so it's making filming a handful. But these guys, this is Reptile Passion. Once again, I have purchased animals from these guys in the past. They always have an incredible selection of snakes all kind of ball pythons all different type of morphs corn snakes milk snakes and uh but one thing these guys have that really separate them is they have a lot of species that you don't see anywhere else this is a lychee um i have a couple of these in my breeding projects and these guys are amazing little creatures um also have <laughs> whoa baby also have uh, a lot of invertebrates here like the vinegar roos which a lot of people call the whipless scorpions a lot of other scorpions asian forests a lot of invertebrates a lot of tarantulas uh things like that but a lot of things that these guys have that you don't see it at some of the other stations or some of the other vendors is they have some of these really cool frogs these solomon island leaf frogs are simply amazing look at the leaf pattern and the structure even the veining on these guys backs some beautiful tree frogs over here but they have a beautiful whip blitz zero bearded dragon some other baby dragons but right down here guys they have some incredible this is a mangrove monitor look how beautiful this guy is super super smart intelligent animal they have some indonesian blue tongues now you don't see these guys very often rhino iguanas they are incredible kind of considered the puppy dog of the lizard world they get really big and they can do some damage but if they're tame when they're babies these guys are incredibly docile and wonderful animals a beautiful emerald tree boa some more monitors these guys are argus monitors super super smart probably one of the smartest of all the monitor species some really beautiful bearded dragons but this is one of my personal favorites right here dream reptile of mine in the future this is a blue rock iguana this is a female she is grabbing and in the process of laying eggs uh, according to the breeder here but this is an animal i would love to own in the future these guys if they're raised up as babies and they're tame captive breads they are incredible animals they are docile and calm and love to be scratched and rubbed and petted and this is a beautiful example right here of a rock iguana and once again guys this is reptile passions i have purchased animals from these guys in the past they're awesome i've seen them at multiple shows here's some of their tortoises but they always have a great setup a really big setup at every show here's some more of their snakes this is an incredible hat um 
OGS right here, which is a, a type of a a uh, boa constrictor, I do believe. And uh, look at the orange eyes on this girl right here. That's pretty amazing. And um, just really beautiful, the eyes on those guys. This is a pastel Dominican mountain boa. Look at the coloration on that thing. Once again, some more monitors. It's a Nile monitor. Here we have more Euromastics, beautiful yellows, some baby red tegus. Look at the little baby tegus. But once again, reptile passions. These are blue tegus, kind of hard to come by these days. Um, and this is something you don't see very often. This is a, I believe it's a plated lizard. Um, they have that kind of row down the side. This is a plated lizard, and these guys are really, really cool. Another rock iguana here, and uh, pretty big tegu. This is a high white female. This is what my girl's gonna look like when she gets bigger. Um, so once again, reptile passions, you guys. Check them out if you get to a show. This is a black throat monitor. These guys are really incredible. Love to have one of these guys one day if I have the room. Like little black dragons. Uh, and once again, reptile passions here at the 2020 Repticon. Okay guys, we're here at the 2020 Raleigh Repticon and this is T and B Reptiles. And as you can already see from all the beautiful acrylic enclosures that they have an incredible assortment of snakes. Here's a snow corn snake. They have some king snakes, a lot of ball pythons, some false corals. Look at this bumblebee uh, clown right here. Really fantastic selection of snakes and you have to calm down and like right up here we have a beautiful banana clown these guys have some here's another banana mojave clown uh, a bunch of beautiful snakes uh, just an incredible assortment skip around these guys right here they're having a black friday sale too uh, a lot of uh, discounts on a lot of their snakes um, and a lot of juveniles um, fresh hatchlings this pinhead albino right here, pinstripe, is a beautiful, beautiful ball python. They have some other species as well. They have some plated lizards. Uh, there's a beautiful banded skink right here. Um, some blue tongues. Look at the little tiny baby dragon. Uh, they actually have a sailfin dragon that you don't see very often. Looks like some tokays over here, which we all know they're crazy, fresh out the egg. Um, some tegus down here, um, a beautiful mangrove monitor, a big black and white tegus over here too. Special on these guys today, $125, probably because they've been banned in Florida, so a lot of them are being moved up here to try to get rid of. Here's a little beautiful red iguana. But once again, this is T and B reptiles at the Raleigh 2020 Repticon. Beautiful snakes. Look at that beautiful butter inchy clown. Good prices here to you guys. So check them out if you had a show. TMB Reptiles, Raleigh 2020 Repticon. Okay guys, we're here at the 2020 Repticon and you see the orange and black, so you know what that means. Gecko Junkies, they're at all the shows. Right. These guys are yeah. rock stars, always have the most professional, most awesome setup. If you guys remember the last show, I bought my Whip Blitz Bearded Dragon from these guys that I have at home now and they always have really cool stuff like pictures setups look at all the collection of dragon wings they have for your bearded dragons like that is really freaking awesome two whole sections even for your little small bearded dragons so they have really cool display items so much stuff for your animals some stuff you can't never find at the pet stores uh as far as food decorations they already have these little setups pre-made for you if you grab a gecko from these guys today drainage layer isopod substrate and these enclosures these guys have are some of the most incredible custom made enclosures with the backgrounds already in there lighting installed like and the prices are not bad 355 for this 40 at least 40 maybe a 50 gallon with a desert background and the lights inside these guys are rock stars they always have an incredible setup they're very very professional the way these guys have their geckos set up and their dragon set up it is so friendly for the consumer and for the customer these guys are always happy to answer any question look at the amount of geckos these guys always bring to a show and they're always nice high-end 
beautiful geckos, always reasonably priced. You're not gonna see a normal Harlequin in these guys' cases for $400. If it's got a price on it, it's because of the morphs that those geckos have, and these guys never are overpriced. They're always willing to work with you. Look at this beautiful, I wish you guys could see the red on this bearded dragon, and there's beautiful looking. Are you killing me, Smalls? Like I said, I got my Whip Blitz bearded dragon from these guys, and their gecko assortment um, is incredible. Everything these guys have is really, really, really amazing. Matter of fact, they just had a gargoyle escape. They had a gargoyle escape, and I am helping reclaim their gecko. They actually have it out here chilling. <laughs> they actually have one out there chilling out in the open and uh, letting it roam around. And uh, they have beautiful bearded dragons. Like I said, I got my Whip Blitz bearded dragon from these guys last time I was here, and they are rock stars. Once again, guys, this is Gecko Junkie, and they are always at the shows, and they are awesome. Okay, guys, this is Outer Banks Exotics. I've seen these guys at multiple shows. I know they were at Raleigh and Charlotte last time. They always have beautiful, beautiful assortment of ball pythons. Incredible selection of morphs colors always have a beautiful setup everything really clearly labeled birth dates all the more slave look at this mojave lesser bill ball python oh my gosh he's beautiful a lot of beautiful beautiful morphs here at their table um some beautiful beautiful snakes and there i go again i'm gonna say beautiful 500,000 times these guys always have some leeches too last time they had a big female leechy that had sluts written on the container i'm pretty sure they must have gotten rid of her because Sluts in the lychee world uh, are hard to come by, so uh, I'm sure somebody scooped that one right up. Uh, I have two at home. You guys are aware to watch my channel, a female and a male, and I'm praying like, like you know what, that they like each other when the time comes. So these guys have some incredible crested geckos too, some beautiful gargoyles. Look at the stripes on these guys. If you want to add something to your collection, these guys always have amazing cresteds, amazing lychees, and amazing gargoyles. I mean, some of these guys' patterns and contrast is amazing, the pinstripes on them. They also have a few snakes over here, and I believe these are oscillated skinks. They are major skinks. These are major skinks. Okay, oh, and she has it right here on the label. Yeah, they're uh, Epic Australian fail. species. These, uh, like the young lady said, Australian species, they are beautiful. So once again, you guys, this is Outer Banks Exotics. We're here at the Raleigh 2020 Repticon. These guys are awesome people. Give them a shout out. I'm pretty sure you can find them on Facebook. So uh, give them a holler. Okay guys, we're with the Avian and Exotic Animal Care here at the 2020 Repticon, and this is Tyler and Megan. And look at this incredible creature right here. And what type of owl is this, Megan? This is a screech owl. A screech owl. I'm sure she can screech pretty good too. <laughs> you can't have it for dinner, so you need to stop. Um, my taggy is trying to get at the owl. But what an amazing creature and for her to just sit here on her perch. If you guys follow Clint's reptiles, he just did a huge YouTube video about owls and how they're not the best reptile as a personal pet. Um, so, but these guys are here doing great work. They, they rescue animals. They raise money to take care of animals. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here. And we, we really appreciate what you guys do. Now here at the 2020 Repticon in Raleigh, we have Queen City Cresteds. Now, these guys are one of the little smaller operations, but oftentimes these guys get overlooked and they have some incredible crested geckos. Look at the pattern on this male right here. Those pinstripes are incredible. A lot of different morphs here. Really, really good prices too. Like these prices are really, really good. A lot lower than you see at a lot of these other vendors. And their, their patterns here, colorations, you, you got harlequins, pinstripes. Uh, just about every morph. I mean, this guy right here is incredible, and the coloration on this guy. So these guys are, these guys are doing amazing work with their geckos. The patterning and the contrast on this guy right here is amazing. Obviously, probably one of their breeders. Um, but these are beautiful animals here, Queen City Cresteds here at the 2020 Repticon in Raleigh. Okay, you guys. Once again, 2020 Repticon Raleigh. We are at AHP Exotics. Um, Albright Herpet Cultural Products, and these guys always have beautiful snakes, incredible, fantastic selection. Some of these pieball pythons they have, this Mojave Cine Fire Pie right here, and this Candino Pie. Here's a regular Leopard Pie. Oh, this black 
pastel ultra male is incredible that's almost purple selection is really really beautiful i mean almost every morph and pattern you can think of um these guys always have a really cool selection and once again i was trying to catch my tagu oh my goodness all right mr demille i'm ready for my close-up this green iguana is a stud look at this guy what a beast and now see these are not beginner pets these used to be really big in the pet trade but you guys will know that these guys are not always friendly and you can imagine that guy could do some damage to you if he wanted to with those big jaws look at the claws on this guy look at the big muscular legs look at the front leg on that guy i mean he is not to be trifled with but any beautiful specimen um i wish you guys could see size comparison Here's my baby Tegu, and look at that guy. He'll eat him for lunch. And oh my goodness, look at this water monitor. This guy is a beast. Could you imagine feeding this guy? It would be like feeding a teenager, if not more. Look at that guy. Oh wow. Here's a beautiful, beautiful king snake. And we have a beautiful collared lizard. If you guys hadn't seen these, very similar to bearded dragons. And here is a beautiful Hypo Zero Bearded Dragon. And some more monitors. This is a Hovon water monitor. This is the same monitor that was down there on the end of their display that was so huge that I was talking about feeding a small teenager. Uh, this is the, it when it is a juvenile. Uh, this is a red Aki monitor. Aki monitors are so freaking incredible. And this one right here looks like it has an unusual type of a pattern to it. Here we have a butterfly, a gamma. Uh, another rhino iguana, which you guys know that's one of my dream reptiles, a, a rhino and a rock iguana. Have some really big sunfire uh, pythons here, a big ghost. Um, these guys had some big, big snakes last time I was here. Uh, look at this rosy boa, really pretty. But once again, a lot of snakes, all different ages, all different morphs, all different sizes. Um, excuse me, folks. And they have some big guys, like some really big guys. But I also want to make sure you guys saw these. They have a blue uh, and white uh, tegu. This is the high version. Like, look at the colors on that monitor. And then you can see this guy right here has a regen. Obviously, a break in the tail. And that's what it looks like when it grows back. So this guy obviously had a tail injury at some point. But look at this big peach-throated monitor just chilling. Look at the muscles in these guys and how big their legs are. He's going through a shed. You can see the skin peeling right there so he's probably a little ornery see the skin peeling on his back there too but these are beautiful beautiful monitors they get the name peach stroke monitor because of that coloration there on the throat this is a melanus monitor melanus monitor what we've got here is failure to communicate you talking to me well nobody's perfect sorry i mispronounced that look at him with the legs stretched out there but you can see the muscle tone these guys have big jaws big bodies Red tegu sleeping back there. Uh, this is a gold tegu. Now these guys are not normally as friendly as the black and white tegus. They, they're known to be a lot more temperamental and a big fat sausage with legs. Indonesian blue tongue skink here. Once again, this is AHP Exotics. Here at the 2020 Repticon with a lot of cool species. Okay guys, I don't know if you can tell where we are here, but this is Oblivion Exotics at the 2020 Repticon here in Raleigh. And these guys have a beautiful setup. Look, they even have the iPad or the, the, the tablet here set up. And uh, hand off the table. Th th thank you. There and you their their selection is incredible. They have everything in these beautiful cases with everything labeled, prices. Look at this GHI chocolate B, this Mojave special. Prices are very very reasonable too, and the display is very professional. Oh, they have some beautiful little guys right here. Now, what are these guys? Are these guys just uh so are these are the madagascar velvet day geckos oh velvet day geckos i have not seen those okay awesome yeah. and they have some some these are these are day geckos as well yeah, look like the normal the normal um more variety look at them flashing the tail there oh and they have some beautiful cresties look at the ink spots on this guy beautiful patterns look at the contrast on this little fella we'll step around here real quick these guys have an awesome professional 
display really good graphics so many morphs in their snakes and their ball pythons look at this fire hat vpi xanthic super strike fader vanilla jigsaw uh, amazing amazing fantastic selection of snakes this hat albino pied right here and these guys I have a lot of these little turtles last time i was at a show i seen them all in a row together marching like they were off to war um, but those guys are amazing beautiful creatures those sulcados will lure you in though because they're beautiful when they're small but they get like the size of a small dog house so taking care of them when they get bigger and they will outlive you you'll be having to will them to somebody in your family when you when you die because they're definitely going to outlive you beautiful little knickknacks jewelry here and different things um and once again this is oblivion exotics and they have an incredible selection so if you guys get out to a show check them out oblivion exotics okay you guys we're at the 2020 repticon here in raleigh and this is something you don't see at every reptile show this is the dead guy and that mohawk is incredibly rocking to the most you can rock a mohawk but this guy has a bunch of stuff that he has you know bottled up here like you would see maybe in your science class in high school but he's done it in an artistic way and he's, he's made the animals really like the centerpiece here um they're really really incredibly beautiful the way they're encapsulated um they're much more like a display piece rather than something that you may see on your on your on your you know your wall in your science class like these things are incredible the way he has them posed and and set up and like i said you don't see this at the shows um very very incredible prices are very reasonable like this is if you're a reptile keeper and you want some artistic something to add to your racks uh something to, to to let people talk about these things are incredible and once again this is the dead guy Here's this little logo here, and we are at the 2020 Repticon, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, those of you who know me and have watched my channel know that normally when I go to a Repticon, I always come home with something, and um, this was no different. Um, so we have something here in the box. What's in the box? And I wanted to show you guys what it was. So let me go ahead and cut her open here with my trusty razor knife and if you guys have never purchased anything like this this is what 500 super worms looks like um i picked up 500 super worms for a great deal at the repticon have a lot of bearded dragons and other species to feed here that love super worms so i picked those up and if you guys are not familiar with this company i want to give them a shout out they are premiumcrickets.com you guys should check them out um they'll ship anywhere it says right here fast shipping and delivery feeders and supplies direct to your door so um sorry for the slanted uh, text there, but you guys should check them out. Like I said, this is premiumcrickets.com. I picked up these 500 super worms for 20 bucks, which is a pretty good deal considering PetSmart sells them for about $6.99 for 50. Okay, guys, once again, this is Will the Dragon Whisper here with Gandalf, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy seeing all the really cool vendors and the exotic species and animals that were at the Repticon in Raleigh this year. So I hope you guys will smash that like button. Please ring that notification bell so you guys will know when I post. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. All you guys that have come over from Clint's Reptiles and everybody that watches the channel. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your support. I'm going to be putting my website up here in the corner like I usually do. And if you guys have any questions about the care of your animals or anything that you guys have seen on the channel, please hit me up on my Instagram. I'll be putting that down here at the bottom. So this is me and Gandalf signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed Repticon 2020 from Raleigh. This is the Dragon Whisperer, and I'm out.